Okay, we back. We back. Let's get ourselves some gunpowder here. Why does my chat keep disconnecting? That is so annoying. There we go. Might honestly be enough. I don't need a whole lot. Just enough for this. Shoot. Yeah, 42 should be more than that. I need more paper soon, though. Do that before we start the castle stuff. I suppose. Is my game settings low? I feel like I can't hear anything. freaking out tonight. some paper before we go. So I'm gonna forget about it. I think I have some, I don't have very much. Perhaps I should go to my shitty skeleton farm. Doing pretty good. How are you? I have some here actually. No, I do not. Arc is fun. Not my favorite. I'd rather Rust, but that's just preference. I have played Arc. It was free this month, right? I think. I kind of want to go to the end, but I'm afraid to go to the end because sometimes when I go there, I go through the portal and my game crashes. And then it's like a big re stream restart, which is really annoying. So I feel like I probably shouldn't test it. <sighs> Whatever. Go this way. I need to get some paper. That's always good.
I need to update those maps. Should I try and go to the end? Should I not try and go to the end? I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Might be a bad idea. If my stream crashes when I'm going through the portal, it's because my PlayStation soft lock. It does that sometimes. It's weird, and it's only this world. I think it's because it's almost a gigabyte in size. Um, yeah, I'll go through the end portal sometimes, and the game will crash, and I literally can't do anything about it. Like I can't do anything besides restart the PlayStation, and when I do that, it corrupts the data. But I have it backed up on a USB drive and on a cloud, so. It's not like I'd lose everything or anything, it's just, it's kind of annoying because it takes like 15 minutes to restart, which is when I'm only streaming for like an hour, an hour and a half, you know, so it's a while. I haven't been there in forever either, so I feel like it might be a glitch that happens when the game is auto-saving. Okay, let's try it. It is really annoying. Okay, we're good. It's my favorite build I've done because obviously it's inspired by Phil's, but it's its own thing and I'm very proud of it. And I feel like I can't go there sometimes now because of the problem. But yeah, it's my, uh, my end is also an ocean. So nice to be here. I've been here a while now. took so freaking long to make <laughs> like definitely the first like four months of this world was probably this once i got here yeah my plan is to make a giant dragon too not like necessarily the ender dragon but like another one because we have like these like serpents slash dragons in here so like there's one wrapped around that uh obsidian pillar right and then i have another one down in the void like i had to go down to the literal block before the void happens and i built it down here and this is gonna be a lot better later on i've just been taking a break from this build because i was on it for so long that i kind of got burnt out yeah that's this little like snake serpent because that's like the lowest point you could build before you die pretty much i would assume something like that i don't know how far down it goes but it looks cool there. It is. I like it. Spent so much time doing all this stuff. <sighs> anyway, the entire point of this is that I needed an Enderman farm, and that's what this is, so. The only way I really knew how to do it was watching Phil, which is how he did his. Not bad. It just takes practice. I would have never thought I would be able to do anything like this a while ago, you know? But after watching other people do it and stuff, you're kind of like, you get ideas, and you're like, you know, I could probably do that. It just takes a lot of patience and time. And since I started streaming, it makes it a lot easier to do big builds because I feel like I'm kind of obligated to because there's people watching. too many ender pearls so it's becoming a problem <laughs> like four double chests <laughs> i gotta message a friend because i think their notifications aren't working I used to stream on YouTube and then I um, slowly decided I wanted to go to Twitch later. 
so a lot of the vods and stuff well everything's on youtube anyways but a lot of the actual streams i've done were on youtube Yeah, what is it? Hopefully don't crash one back. <laughs> that is random. It's cool though. I need to remember to bring back a mushroom block when I go here too, because I'm trying to put it in my museum. as this possibly I could just use the blaze for him to heal my elytra I suppose could also do that I need to work on my wither skeleton farm too because it got it's one of the farms that broke once it updated to 1.18 because it used to be here and now it doesn't work anymore this farm is so noisy not as noisy as the pig run farm it is. Well, the lighting update broke a lot of things, right? Because I had a skeleton farm and a spider farm that were automatic because I used campfires for killing them. But now the campfires give too much light and don't work anymore. I don't know. I haven't really thought about them. I think what I'm going to do with the with the wither skeleton one, because it's not a lighting thing, I think I'm going to build it in a different fortress. Because, like, the blaze farm is here and it works extremely well. So, I think I might just do it there's another fortress where there's two fortresses and a bastion all in the one exact area so it would be like a really really good like hot spot place to put it so i think i might put it there because i'd like to fight the wither again it went well the last time i did it surprisingly considering this is bedrock and the wither is like a million times fucking harder a lot of XP from these, so they're really good for uh, XP farm. I was gonna do one the other night, actually, or tonight, but I just decided tonight I was gonna chill, because I was working all day. But probably, maybe the weekend, I might do something like that. Oh, the Warden? Yeah, definitely. This is a 1.17 world, so if it's possible for it to spawn in a faraway chunk, um, I'm definitely gonna do it, yeah. 100%. I'm not on hardcore, so I'm not that worried. I'll just make a backup set of armor so I don't lose anything super important. Because a lot of this armor I've literally had since the beginning. I've died a few times. I wouldn't be able to do hardcore. Because I, I make too many dumb decisions. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll definitely be playing it when it comes out 100%. Definitely. Minecraft is like my favorite game second only to like Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> I don't know which one one of them but yeah I 
I've been playing Minecraft since I was in like college, so. Okay, this build is gonna take forever. I got a bunch of um, mossy stone bricks from a um, goddamn from like an end portal room, so I'm just gonna use that. It's going. It's definitely going. We need to add add some of these in just to make it a little bit more um, rundown looking. Maybe not the tower itself, but because the tower I want to look magnificent. This took so fucking long to do. I also want to do a moat around this at some point, but I don't know if I really should because it's on an island. So I mean, like, why would you even need a moat, right? build is slowly becoming the second biggest build we've done besides the end. Okay. So I guess we'll start on the front wall. I don't know if I'm going to do the insides of the walls. I might just do the outsides. I don't know. Maybe later. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. We still gotta do, like, more houses and stuff eventually, too. Just doing one thing at a time and trying to do, like, different streams in between because it's kind of like a monotonous build. It's definitely tedious. Perhaps I should get scaffolding? I don't know. I don't know. Just break a few, like, here and there. I'll just replace all of them. Yeah, something like that. I'm thinking something like that, yeah. I found a portal room. I was trying to find a portal room off stream um, that was nearby to this to this castle because it's like 9,000 blocks out which is quite far away from my home base. I was thinking like if we wanted to go to the end maybe we could find like a portal that's closer to here and then it wouldn't be so like hard to go to the end you know. Especially since we could probably instead of traveling through the nether on the way back then we could just go to the end and go back through the portal and be teleported back to our bed right. Already looks better. Just trying to break it up a little bit because it's so. Maybe we should do the moss more towards the bottom because I guess it would like grow more towards the bottom, wouldn't it? I did find one, yeah, that's where I got all these mossy blocks. Because I could make these blocks, but it's a lot easier to just harvest them from one of the portal rooms because there's so many portal rooms, like, you know.
Uh, it's 13,000 blocks. So you go towards the back of the castle straight out. And it's, uh, it's not really that far. It's, it's, I mean, it's fairly far. But, like, it's not, like, horribly, you know? Oh, also, on that note, I remember today is also supposed to be, um, a different game stream day. Usually I have it scheduled to play, like, something that's not Minecraft or Minecraft Dungeons. Um... But I decided to go with just playing Minecraft because where we missed, um, we missed doing survival yesterday. I figured I'd just do it today. And I'm not streaming tomorrow, so. Tomorrow's my one day off. I say tomorrow, but, like, the time zones are weird because technically it's, it's 1.40 a.m. right now where I am. So... <laughs> already tomorrow so really it's the next day it's so weird doing like a schedule on twitch when, when your time is like that i'm such a night owl to see I have a ring light in the corner of the room, but it's like it causes too much glare. No. Well, streaming wise, I mean I have tomorrow off, not my not my actual job. Wish this was my actual job, that'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be so much better. Okay. Um, I'm really just trying to get like the front of it and stuff. Saturday, yeah, because I have band on Saturday too. We gotta practice for another show that's coming up on the 22nd. I think it's 22nd, and it will be the biggest show we've done to date. So I'm pumped. <laughs> I might do some of this path with this too, actually. Rock House is one of the bigger, like, uh, clubs here, so that's huge. Uh, I sing and I play guitar, but I can also play bass, uh, accordion, a little bit of trumpet. I learned how to play bass guitar first, and um, a friend taught me how to play guitar. Oh, do you see the cat? Is that what it is? He's been a nuisance all day. He likes to eat. He likes to dig through garbage. It's getting really annoying lately. I don't know how to stop him from doing it. Like, they will literally go through the garbage can. Like, even if there was, like, a garbage can, they will literally knock it over. Okay, let's do some. Yes, his name is Tesla.
Having one cat's cool. Having three cats is um something something else. <laughs> Lizards are cool though. I feel like if I didn't have cats, I would get a lizard. I'm not a big dog person. Like, there's a dog upstairs, but that's more of my mother's dog, so... I'm not a big dog person, because they're so loud. And I don't like loud. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I'm going to do with this. do the top part of the wall too but I feel like it's gonna be hard to do we can just do it with scaffolding though I kind of want to keep it mostly towards the bottom though exactly dogs have so much energy it's like it's bad enough when cats are running around the house going crazy like one of the cats just before i started streaming was like literally going around the house and she makes like these like noises and it's like bruh trying to figure out what she wants it's like do you want the litter changed changes the litter still doing it feeds her still doing it puts water down still doing it it's like, it's like she doesn't know she just hyper i guess it's just, it's just weird to me, because usually when she does something like that, it's usually because she wants something. I feel like I should probably should have got more of this. Although it looks good. I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to look like it's literally run down. I, it need, just needs to be um, a little bit weathered. I think, I think the cat's problem is that she usually sleeps here, but he's here right now. And she's probably, like, upset because he's there. And, my, and the other cat is over here, my big fluffy cat. She's a big old fluff ball. Come here, Bella. Say hi. This is Arabella. She's named after an Arctic monkey song. Because she's black and white, just like the... Just like the album cover that it's from. It's the first thing I thought of when I said Tesla obviously is named after um after the scientist. And my other cat, Willow, is named after the character from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. break these blocks because I don't want to ruin the water that's there. You can't even see the water in this texture pack sometimes. It's, it's so clear. Okay. A little bit more in this wall probably. And, um, that'll be pretty much it. I think. I'm just trying to think where I want to do it to. Maybe in from the top. What, the water? I wish you could, but you can't. You can only die it if it's in a um, cauldron. That would be cool if you could do that, though. Honestly, it would 
just do the top of this wall. I'm not really worried so much about the other walls because it's not like something that I'm going to be on on a constant basis. The front wall is really the only one that we use. It is pretty dumb. But I mean, Bedrock has a lot of dumb features. <laughs> like, where's our combat update? Give me that. I hear they're actually somewhat working on an update like that, so I hope that is true. Because I want the combat update. I want it to be like Java. I feel like I'd be so much better at PvP if I could do, like, crits and stuff. If I could dye that water, it would be either dyed purple or red. Because <laughs> the tower needs to look somewhat evil, right? keep forgetting that the music comes up in the chat and then I'm like, oh, why is there music here? I'm like, oh, right. I keep thinking there's someone chatting. Doesn't need to be perfect, like I said. We're just trying to, especially from a distance. Yes, it looks a little bit better, more natural looking. This tower took forever. I still, I want to find like a practical use for the um for the tower, at least the top part of it. But I don't know what to do with it because this staircase is so long. With the floating candles and everything. It's cool. But I want it to have a practical use. And I don't know why. Unless I make this like a second base or something. Away from my other base. It's more just a cool build at the moment. A giant axolotl. That's cool. Axolotls are like one of the best things I've added to this game. Uh, the castle is huge, yeah. It's the second biggest build besides the end. End Atlantic, as I call it. The End Atlantic Ocean. The staircase is supposed to be very, uh, twisty. It's kind of supposed to be, like, supernatural, right? That's why there's, like, floating candles around and stuff. I want to put something up here, but I don't know what I want to do up here. I'm probably going to put bait, uh, like some kind of base stuff up here. I just don't know why yet. I'd like to do more with, like, um, I'd like to do, like, more, uh, like, different things with the castle, but I don't really know what to do. Like, I don't want it to be something that's already existing. If, if it had a purpose, it would be good. I'd say I'd make it, like, an actual wither farm or something, but, like, there's no bedrock nearby. And you can't really do, um, wither farms in bedrock like, as much as you can in Java because it's not as efficient. Oops. Cat knocked down my light. Of course she did. This is what I'm talking about, hyper cats. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta fix that. You okay, Willow? You being a nuisance? Oh, it's not a big deal. It's only made of plastic. It's only from the dollar store. Cat, cat literally go burr, yeah. That's what I should have named her. You okay, Willow? It's okay. It's okay. Scared the crap out of herself, I think. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this fortress here is what I'm thinking I'm going to um, 
turn into a wither skeleton farm because it's very large and it's basically two together so it would make sense but look i'm up on the couch by what are you down there My. Hello, Blazes. How are you guys doing today? Not very often they spawn outside of the spawner there. We need to get our levels back. We used so many levels making that armor for uploading the world. I don't know if you've ever heard of um, IBX Toy Cat for Bedrock, but I'm planning on uploading the world to like his reviewing thing just to see. I want, I want to see all the negative criticism I can get on this. <laughs> guests are showing away. I really should box this in with some glass or something. Because the gas shoot at me all the time, and I feel like it would like it's kind of unnecessary. Although it's kind of fun shooting them with arrows on the way there. It's kind of like a mini game, I guess. Sleep, sleep, sleep. And then they wouldn't be able to shoot at me, right? So that would, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the only reason for me not doing it, really. I'm so pumped about this, like, Wolverso computer, man. I spent so much time doing this. I love the... I love that the song actually works pretty good. It's hard to get it right, though. I was fiddling with it again, like, off stream today, trying to get the song, the notes, better timed, but, like, it's really hard to do in this, and I'm not really good with Redstone, so it's kind of, you know... I might take down the Technoblade statue because I don't like the pink. It looks so weird. Have you heard the song? It has a, it has the your new boyfriend like jingle at the beginning. Um, give me a second because I gotta like pause the music so you can hear it. Pause. Okay. So yeah. It's supposed to be like, a, you know, you start up a computer like Windows, and then when you start it up, it makes like a noise. Well, yeah. It took so long to do that. So very, very long. Yeah, I basically, the redstone is, like, weird, see? It's like a line. This is the only way I knew how to do it. So, yeah. And basically, the lights light up the screen when it does it, right? I still, I have a tribute to, like, all my favorite, like, streamers, basically. So, I'm, I, I need to do one for Phil, too, eventually. But I don't know what to do. Because my original idea was to build a Technoblade statue and to put a crow on his shoulder. And that would be, like, the equivalent. Oh, 
Oh, no, don't worry about that. It's fine. It's all good. Nobody has to, like, you know. Nobody has to be here. I appreciate people dropping in every now and then. Something with a baby zombie. <laughs> Felza, look out! <laughs> I could. I could. That would be funny. And they're all kind of in the general area because you got like the Technoblade statue over there, which isn't finished because it takes a lot of concrete to do. This took so much white concrete to do. Um, I mean, I kind of already have like a, a fill tribute to a point because my my map room has like a giant hardcore heart as um, as its window, which lines up perfectly with the Enderman statue over there. I did not try to, like, when I built that Enderman statue, I was just building an Enderman statue on an island to scale, and then I built this map room, and I, and I, I swear, I swear, I swear, and, and, uh, Nicole, you can vouch for me on this, I did not plan it to line up perfectly with this window, but it does, and it's so fucking cool that it does, <laughs> it was like a happy accident, I love it. Yeah, I did not try to line it up. Then, like, I got a map of the end and my map of my mushroom castle and my map of my world, including my guardian farm and stuff. I have so many farms. If there's anything I learned the most about this world, it's farms. I've gotten very good at making farms, and I'm happy about that. Usually from tutorials, and then I'll tweak the farm to make them better. Like, my bee farm isn't very efficient, but it's cute, which is the, the thing. It's more like a bee sanctuary. And my floating islands are supposed to be like a tribute to um, my previous uh, world, which I lost in a corruption. I forgot to take a mushroom block, damn it. And yeah, over here I basically have a museum, which is like all like certain blocks, like first blocks, first things, um, you know, the dragon egg, wither rose. All the mob heads, the dragon head, and then like sets of armor that I've had since the beginning. First blocks from certain areas, different armors. Yeah. Because I was trying to like, like, I used to have the problem where I would get bored playing in the same world for a long while. And I'd want to start a new one. So, like, I was like, well, how can I do that? So I looked up, like, tutorials on what to do. And a lot of people said to make a museum because it keeps your world, like, interesting. It makes you think more about, like, you know, about them practically and what you could do with stuff. And this is a gold farm here. It's not the most efficient gold farm, but it's not bad if I leave it running. The world is acting so weird tonight. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, why does nothing spawn? I think a lot of these farm tutorials, just because I want to give credit to the person, is um, JC Plays with a Z on YouTube. Some of them are like just straight the farms that he uh, has on there, and then some of them are more like uh, inspired and tweaked. I think of other things. I'm not really around this area very much anymore, so it's nice to just fly around and talk about stuff. This is just like a giant uh, globe aquar aquarium, basically. It's in a tree. Yep, creeper statue just made of copper. It's slowly oxidizing. Yep, the Enderman statue. And as for that Rambu question, by the way, um. I was going to do something for Rambo too. There's a bunch of people. I want to do it to like a lot of them. I'm not the biggest fan of the Dream Team. So like I'm not. I might not do a whole lot to them. Besides George. I like George. George is cool. I think I'm more partial to like the British <laughs> people. I don't know why. 
It seems like it for my tastes. It's not intentional. And this here is my guardian farm. Very good for prismarine, especially if you like having sea lanterns and stuff. The only thing I want to do with this that I'd like to tweak is make it automatic so I don't have to use my sword. Because you take so much damage from him. They always get clogged in the tube. burning tree or something like that you could do that actually yeah do like a tree but like maybe put like netherrack on it or something like hide the netherrack nicole's just here like i don't know who any of these people are <laughs> i'm trying to think if i had to do some first for some people because I don't like, like, fanboying out over shit. Like, I'm not really, like, you know, I just like having little tributes. Because, like, I wouldn't be streaming if it wasn't for these people that inspired me to do it to begin with, right? Phil being the main one, which is why it's surprising that I don't have anything dedicated to him yet. Um... Yeah, well, you may you may have watched, seen Nikki in, like, the You Laugh, You Lose with, like, Will type stuff. I can't wait for Tommy's next vlog. It's going to be so good. I think because a lot of people consider Minecraft to be like a kid's game. It's like literally the first thing people say. Like when I ever, I tell anyone like I work with or something that I'm like, oh yeah, I like stream Minecraft or I play Minecraft. They're like, well, you're like a grown person. Why would you want to play? It's like, bruh, like it's literally, kids can play it, sure. But like, I wouldn't consider Minecraft a kid's game. I really wouldn't. This game can be terrifying sometimes, honestly. How many times have I almost had a freaking heart attack playing this shit? Because I've done something stupid or, like, something has just gotten out of hand. I'm trying to think. There was something I really needed to get. Yeah, it's dumb, because it, it's updated so often. It's a game that never really gets old, because there's always new stuff to look forward to. Like, the next update I'm looking forward to immensely. Um, yeah, like, I can't wait for the, ne the next update. I couldn't wait for this one, because we had a 1.18 world, too, but I kind of stopped playing it. I kind of planned to go back to it eventually, but I don't know when. That might not happen, though. You never know. I do need to make a bigger storage room. Maybe I could try and figure that out. I was thinking after, by the way, after I was talking about that that night, um, 
What if we took, like, these castle wall thing that we have down here that are more for looks? What if we, like, kind of hollowed this out more and made this the storage room, maybe? Possibly. The only problem is I got this big-ass mine behind here for no reason with Surge, the zombie that's been here since the beginning of the world. <laughs> Stuck. I don't know. Because the storage is getting kind of out of hand right now, and I need, I definitely need more storage room. I never really thought about it, because I figured I'd be bored by now. But, like, the world is nine months, so it's going up on a year, and it's like... Uh, I'm doing, I'm gonna do a mob museum eventually. I have a museum, and I have a farm that's started. And I'm going to do a mob farm, too. Because I have two zombies I want to put there. I have a pig, I have a pig man that's wearing boots that's been here since the beginning I want to put in there. And I'd like to get one of, like, all the special mobs if possible. Like, try and get, like, a spider jockey. Stuff like that. Oops. Oops. You know what we could do? For like a little while, we could go bam bombing. Haven't done that in a while. Yeah, that's not saying I have him too, yeah. I'm just gonna put these in here for now because I don't wanna lose them. Um, we could go bed bombing for a little bit. I only got like 45 minutes till I gotta stop playing, but... Not tomorrow night, because I'm not streaming tomorrow night, but the next night I'm probably gonna be streaming longer than usual. That's the plan, anyway. Either that or Saturday. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to get one of every single mob in the game, basically. Including special ones like that. I don't know if it's possible to get a skeleton horseman in a room. Because he might despawn. But, I'll try. Um, shit. I was gonna go bed bombing this one, i But, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if we have enough time, really. I don't have much. Oh, yes, I do. I was gonna say I don't have much wood here, but I do. I think we got enough time. It shouldn't be too bad. I need more netherite. I mean, we have one block, so we have a, a fair bit of netherite, but, like, still. More the better. Rich boy. Should probably wear my fire resistant armor, too, but I'm not going to, because I'm lazy. <laughs> I don't really know where to go, because we've gone in the one closest to us, and then we haven't found much, because we, we mined that out like crazy when we were doing the Atlantic, right? Also, I need blocks. Is there any in here? Do they have any blocks? Ugh. Ugh. Gross. I don't even know there's name tags in there. Secret entrance to the back cave. Okay. Um, 
We'll use diorite. Because nobody likes diorite. Diorite is good in very specific uses. Like if you're trying to do like a checker pattern and stuff like that. But other than that, it's kind of like eh. Eh. I definitely used to be a, um, a diorite fan. I used to always do like my my rooms for like my furnace rooms and stuff. I used to always do them out of like granite, but then I got bored of it. I like doing different stuff every time I play. Bye bye. Stupid ghast. A ghast is gonna be a hard one to get into a mob farm. I'm gonna have to try to get one through a portal, and that's gonna be very hard. I've watched people do it before, and it is not easy. Oh, hello. Magma creams, I'm just gonna ignore you and continue. You guys are annoying. I need to fight the wither again soon, too, because I need another beacon. It'd be nice. Shooting up. I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go over this way. And then we're gonna go to the left. So I don't think that I've done it over this far. I know I have gone straight and done it, but I don't think that we've done it going like down here. So this is probably what we're gonna do. Should have brought my blast protection armor, but too late now. I think we got a totem here. gonna work on the castle tonight but I don't really know like what I want to do in terms of like the build itself like I don't know what else I want to do I'm thinking we're gonna do houses obviously on the other side but Ow. but like um I don't really know like what kind of do I want to do like the same kind of houses do I want to do like a richer side to the houses because I guess there would kind of be like a class Maybe not though. Because it's supposed to be like medieval inspired, obviously. done this in a while though. Aha! Yes. That's what I'm talking about. have mined all the netherite in this world. <laughs> We've done so much mining for netherite. I'm just going to skip over this here because I want to go the paths that I already have here. I know it's going to be a weird thing to complain about, but there's a lot of lava right now. Just usually, like, there's not this much a lot of surprisingly.
still nothing. Do not mean to do that. I'm getting so much glare in my TV right now. It's really creepy when you have like the ambient sounds on which are on right now. I meant to turn them off. <laughs> so I usually don't like having it on, but just because the music it's like a lot, especially in my headphones. I don't know if it is for you guys, but in my headphones it is. Yeah. get two pieces looking like it we really need gold for anything we have a gold farm right so there's not really much point in in mining for it unless where it's nuggets right it's different like if it was in the overworld I'd say yes but Yes, I am that rich. <laughs> Getting there. I always watch other people play and you notice like how much stuff they got. I'm like, damn man, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mo. Mo stuff. All these stupid. I don't know how I ever mine for netherite any other way than this. <laughs> ever, ever since I started doing this, it's just so much easier. The gravel always hides it. Just, see, look, that's because gravel is the literal worst block in the entire game. Prove me wrong. I vote we remove gravel from Minecraft. I hate gravel. My deaths are usually gravel related so it's kind of like a running thing here that gravel not cool like if I had official t-shirts it would definitely have it like something to do with the hating gravel <laughs> it's good for concrete though so that's it's like one redeeming quality It wasn't wood, it was stone, but yeah, I do remember that, yeah. That's how that's how poor we were. Because we were just getting netherrack and I didn't have mending or anything yet, so it was literally Like see that shows that shows the amount of like time, like in the last nine months of doing this world, how much I've evolved as a player. Because I thought that it was way harder to get mending books than it actually was, and which is why I put it off for so long. Right? So it's like, it's kind of funny to think about stuff like that. Oh, hello there. Hello there, beautiful. Right. Yeah, I, I would say no. <laughs> I don't know if you can. I don't think I've ever tried to use a wood wooden tool in the nether. It just hadn't, that would have never occurred to me.
would have never occurred. Ah! ah! No. No. Did I get rid of it? Did I? Did I? Okay. Good. Uh. I always tell people if they're coming to my stream, like, get used to puns, because there's going to be a lot of those. <laughs> okay, good. be like a requirement for the stream. Be good at puns. Not <laughs> ah! Did not mean to do that. See, this is why I die. This is why I would never be able to do hardcore. Could I not be on fire now though? Thank you. That was so close. That was so close. That was not fun. Oh, the puns, they overpowered me. Power of puns killed me. And I don't mean the player. Okay. Let's cover that just in case. Maybe something new. I'm not here gasping. I'm so far down that there's no way that they're nearby. We're like level 14. Stop fooling with me, Ghast. I think you ask this question every time that we go bed bomb. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, soul sand. If soul sand or soul soil is on fire. It uh, has purple fire because of the souls. I would assume. Oh, yeah. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I don't care. I'm just, I'm just fooling with you. See? Gravel. Every time. Every time gravel. The fire. It's blue. Um, it's like blue, but it is also, it's, it's purple in this texture pack. Because we're using a texture pack, so some of the colors are different and some of the blocks look different. I don't like having texture packs that are too, that stray too far from regular Minecraft, but I like them on specific reasons I use certain texture packs. Mainly because I like when glass blocks blend together and they don't have an outline around the edge of the block. Because it makes it a lot more uh, pretty when you do builds. I can tell you what the texture pack is if you're wondering. It's a very nice texture pack. Because I was looking for a long time for like a better one. And um, I couldn't find one for a long time. But then I found this one. Three 
three more. We've got seven. Seven ancient de debris. Debris. <laughs> seven eight ancient debris. We need to open up. Take out the last two beds. We got two more. Can we make it to ten? Probably not. But we're gonna try. I want to do a retro stream, but I cannot. I was thinking about doing like the Sega Genesis collection maybe sometime. But I don't know. It's not the same. It's not the same playing that collection versus playing on actual hardware. Like I'd much rather play on my actual Sega Genesis or Sega CD or whatever, but um, obviously not having a computer is kind of a pain. It's probably the next thing I'm gonna do though. I might like uh, finance one or something, because I would like to have a computer so I could use OBS and stuff and have like a more in-depth um, stream layout and stuff. Because right now I'm literally just streaming straight from a PlayStation 5, right? Which is like, it's cool, but like I can't have like, I can't have like a goal bar and stuff like that. And I'd like to have stuff like that. Spread my wings and fly, but I can't fly because I'm in the nether and I'm underground. I want to though, this song always makes me want to fly. Get out of here, netherrack, no one likes you. <laughs> I like netherrack. I don't hate it. It's a very, uh, it's a useful block for when you're doing builds and you're doing like a layout of a build because it's very easy to break. Which is why we used it in the end. Because it was very easy for getting the water placement proper. We got seven blocks. I mean, that's not bad. Okay, though. Oh, shit. Big ones. They're not going to be happy about me. Was uh, not the most um, eventful stream, but like it wasn't terrible. I try to be at least somewhat entertaining, even when I'm doing something boring. But uh, sometimes you just gotta do the tedious tasks. I don't really know what I'm gonna do next stream for Minecraft. I'm thinking probably something to do with the castle. I don't know what to do though. Like I don't know what I want to do. I want to put houses on one side, which we have. We have. We have the stable for like the mushrooms and stuff. Um, we might. I was thinking about doing a bastion because I know where there's one located close by and I haven't done it yet. There's two actually. We could probably do two bastions in one stream. Might be kind of more like something different because we've been doing so much building lately and less exploring. And it's fun doing exploring, so. Like, this is the amount of blocks that we mined out for this end down there, for the for the end. Like, that's crazy. That was so much. It's close to the um, mushroom farm, like the portal we go to for that. Um, that's where the bastion is. It's not very far. It's only like 100 blocks away. We just can't see it because of the fog in the middle. But I think we could probably bridge into it. I think that would be... Hog. Okay. Okay. 
so much bed bombing. Fly around a bit. We'll go look at the to-do list book after this and see what there is that I need to do because there is a lot of things that we have planned that is not done. Oh, right. I said I was going to do an end city. See, I was sitting around the other night when I was thinking about streaming or even last night because I was going to do this last night, but I couldn't because of the storm that was going on. I was too afraid. But I was thinking, I was like, man, I remember I said I had to do like something and I don't remember what. So I was like looking for Bastion and I found one. And I found a um, stronghold. But I meant to do End City. That is another thing we have to do. I'm afraid to go to the end. If I do a stream like that, I'm gonna start in the end because start the stream in the end because it's it's freaking me out, like the possibility of losing the world. I don't like that at all. For obvious reasons. Well, we made uh, two netherite bars, so that's cool. We got one block, so nine. Sixteen. Yeah. Doing the end is weird for me because it freaks me out. Because <laughs> I don't falling into the void like a lot of times when you're having like elytra problems or something, and your elytra just give out for no apparent reason, especially in bedrock. It's kind of terrifying. Not gonna lie. Because usually I start stream at the creeper farm because it's literally, like, it's the one farm I have to go to all the time because of, like, you know, gunpowder. Creeper farms are, like, essential to have if you're going to be playing in a world for a really long time. I was saying earlier too, um, before you got here, Nicole, that we need to do more of the like small tasks, like fixing the skeleton farm. Because right now the skeleton farm obviously is super fucking broken. I just don't know what to do for automation. Like I could do the trident killer thing, but like the last two times I've done it, it hasn't worked or stayed working. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of annoying. some glass trades or something possibly because we do need more emeralds we ran out so we were trying to get that trident to the sphinx glass and this guy's got a deal on what's this guy's deal though I'd say we could do a mansion again soon too, but like mansions are really only good like in the beginning of the game, like if you're or like towards the middle. Like at this point in the game, I don't really need to go to a mansion for any reason. Cause if I if I want to get totems where we're on normal, it's it's like I can just get totems from doing raids. So you know, it's more efficient that way anyway. So it doesn't make sense for me to go there. I have thought about doing that. Burning down mansions is fun.
We have so many things. This was where we were going to put the mob farm, wasn't it? Was this uh, pyramid. And like underground. Because remember we had the spider jockey and we had it in a boat. And it literally... Like the boat broke and then they came apart. It became two separate entities. And I was like, no! We were so close. Fail. that yeah i'll leave the wool we should be in a similar chunk so i'll just uh i'll do that good idea good idea because we do need more honey more honeycomb to be exact it's almost night time so it's a good time to do it we'll let the wool farm go while we're here see we don't i don't do enough of this stuff too like the small air and stuff because like we need to be doing this stuff too because I run out of things quite a bit because we're going through a lot of items lately. You know what I'm going to do after I do this? I'm going to make something I've been talking about making forever. <laughs> Which is a silk touch axe. <laughs> I need one so bad. For bookshelves and things. They're all so cute. I should name tag I should name tag all the bees after like viewers. That'd be cool. Go back to your hive. I don't want to burn you. Well, even when I was doing the, um, even when I was doing the, uh, fuck, stronghold, I always forget that word. Even when I was doing the stronghold, it was, like, kind of annoying because there were so many bookshelves, and I was like, I want to take them, but I didn't want to take the books because they take up so much room. Yeah, 100%. do that now honestly well i wouldn't like we had that squid person that used to come on here too around the you when i was on youtube and we already have a, a horse named after him so Yeah, that was a good idea on his part. <laughs> Definitely. See, I need to be, like I said, I need to be doing more of this stuff too because we really need to uh, just be around the farms to collect items and stuff because we go through so much of it. Especially like the sheep farm and the gold farm. I do use a lot of wool lately for making either making beds or building. I already did paper. Um, I could do gold, but gold's really tedious because you don't get very much. That's kind of farm that I usually I'll leave it running while I'm gone doing something around the house or something. We go to the skeleton farm, but you know, kind of boring. We're a spider farm. I feel like skeleton farm will be more useful though because we do need more bone meal for the paper. Because we don't need sea lanterns, so I don't really need to go to the guardian farm. I don't need to go to the enderman farm because obviously we have like five full 
double chests of ender pearls. So <laughs> we don't need ender pearls. I'm mostly just like playing and chatting more than like the actual full on playing stuff. Like sometimes it's just nice to chill out and have a chat. Oh. Oh what? Uh, oh bother? My show? What about my show? I have a TV show? No. No, <laughs> What's about my show? You talking about because I got in because I was like interrupted or got distracted? Oh. oh man. Good stretch. Mm hmm It is. She asked us to play that. Um, a while ago. Because I think they were looking for bands and she had it posted on Facebook that she was looking. She's a very good singer. The band, one of the bands that we're playing with. They've been around for a while. Yeah, it's fun. It's good for a good cause. So that's cool. Um... I might, I'm probably going to live stream that show. Either that or record it. I know I say that every time, but like this is more like a bigger show because I've never played at this club before. I've never been offered a show at this club. Because it's, uh, like in terms of like the clubs downtown here, it's like probably one of the biggest ones. If not the biggest one. I've been there multiple times, but I've never actually played there. So that, that's going to be exciting. Kind of nerve wracking. It's funny because we do like the stage destruction stuff, and I think some bars hate it, and other and other places don't like love it because it's such a spectacle and people like love watching it, right? But at the same time, it, it's like I try not to hurt anything when I'm doing it. Like I'm not there to break up their, you know, establishment. Obviously. Bro, why won't you die? Mm. It depends on the show, right? Because certain shows I won't, like, like, I don't do a whole lot. Like, I'll, I'll show you from the last few shows. I'll show you. Hang on. Hang on one second. So this is my main guitar, right? This is my baby. My jag stand. Um, you can see it has, like, damage on the front. Right? Like, up in the top corner. But it's more, like, the sides of it and stuff that's, that's rough. The bottom of it is definitely rough. This part here. You can see, like, the wear. It's so hard to show this on stream. But you can see all the scratches and, like, on the edges and stuff. I like it. It gives it character. It's mine. It's not like it's going to be a guitar that I'm going to sell or something because it's like my dream guitar. But, yeah. It's vintage. I also did the whole uh, Kurt Cobain thing and put tape over the switches on the front because I keep hitting the damn switch while I'm playing and, like, turning off my guitar. It's really annoying. So, yeah. But yeah, I love this guitar. But yeah, my, my, my point is, I'm usually not that rough with it. The reason it's like this is because when I lay it down a lot to, to lean on something, it's usually there. So I guess that's why it's like that. Um, also, the guitar strap rubs off of that all the time, so I guess that would do it too. Um, but usually, like, if I do a stage destruction thing, I'll buy, like, a really, really shitty cheap guitar. It's like $50 or less. And for, like, the last song, I'll use that guitar and then destroy the hell out of it.
Ugh. But yeah. So I'm not really that rough with it. It's more or less regular wear and tear for the most part. Plus the fact that it has a custom paint job that I never did. It's not exactly the best quality. So it's kind of, um, I think the paint comes off a little bit easier than like if it was like straight out of like a factory. Which way is the way back? Is this way right? Lost my bearings there. Yeah. I think um, that show is going to be something. I don't know what like slot we have on the show. Like I don't know if we're. La I doubt we're last. I think the main band usually goes last. It depends on the time, though, because a lot of bands, even if they are the main event, don't want to go last because they don't want to be there super late. Um, so, I don't know. I, I like going last because then I, I'm not worried. Like, I'm not going to do stage destruction and stuff or any kind of stuff like that if there's a band on after me because that's just rude, you know? Look at the glass. It doesn't render sometimes. Like, it just won't render in right away. It's so weird. But yeah, uh, it's going to be exciting. Probably not the longest set, maybe like an hour. But I'm used to doing longer ones lately, but it'll, it'll be cool. I think it'll be fun. Obviously, I've said on stream before, I like doing shows more than I do like recording, even though we have albums. is so efficient. I should expand this farm and make it like longer so I can have like a shit ton. It wouldn't be just like, but I mean, I don't really need it. I mean, this is already pretty. How much paper am I going to be using really, you know? Oops. It's funny, I do so many things, like I work a regular job and then I stream this stuff and then I have a band so I do that as well as playing games and collecting retro video games is like my main thing. It's just so much. It did go by fast, surprisingly because I wasn't really doing that much. Uh, I planned on doing more with the castle but it's so tedious and I don't really know the layout. I think I need to think about it a bit more because when I was started I was more thinking about it like while I was doing other things and I haven't really been thinking about it outside of playing lately so yeah. We got a, little, a lot of little small things done. It's nice like I said it's nice having like these little short streams sometimes and then just basically just doing like little tasks that we need to have done you know. paper for like a week or so. And we'll go back to the house to end the stream, I suppose. I want to listen to this one more time because I love this shit. I'm, I'm like so proud that I've actually done this shit. <laughs> so cool. Oh, the bat portal? Yeah. Uh, like I said before, I think what literally is literally just gonna, I'm gonna have to remove all the layers of glass and, uh, replace them because doing, going in from the side like we were doing before was not working, obviously, because we were getting the water coming in and everything. Yes, yes, yes. I removed some things off of the book because we completed some of it. We finished the, we finished the Wilbur Silk computer. Um... And we finished something else. I don't remember what it was I took off. But it was something. 
And that's only small tasks. And this castle build is not quite done yet, so I'm not going to take it off yet. It's getting there, though. Okay, so we wanted to build a giant Sega Genesis. We wanted to do a monument build, like something with a monument. I don't want to drain the monument because everybody is doing that. The Ravine Village is one we've already started. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, it, it's got... I'm, I'm kind of have lore to everything in the world, too. I don't really talk about it much on stream because I might write it out or something and put it in like a Wattpad or something at some point. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just explain it on stream sometime. Um, Animal Zoo we've started. The Mob Zoo we've started. A lot of things are started. The Void Dragon is something I really want to do soon, but I don't really know what to do with it. Because we start, started doing it last time we ended up doing that, the moon. Well, it's not like, you know, I'm not acting, really. But I mean, like, the world itself has, like, a lore to it. Like, I build things like that castle around, like, different civilizations that were maybe here at one time. And different parts of the world that aren't there anymore. You know? Just stuff like that. Like, there's a castle underneath my house here. That's really similar to the one on the mushroom, mushroom Island, and that's not a coincidence. It's supposed to be related. As well as the one that's coming out of the portal that's in the ground. The floating islands. They're supposed to be a tribute to my last world that got corrupted. So it's supposed to be like me bringing a part of it from that world out of the portal into this world. Um, and there's lots of other stuff. I mean, I've talked about it before on stream, but... Yeah, okay, um... I said Woodland Mansion, but I'm going to take it off because we don't really need to do that right now. And the Wither Skeleton Farm we need to work on. The small things is finish the portal. We need to get the map fully done on the wall instead of just that one area that we have. Um, terraform the base. I've pretty much done that, so I'm going to take that off. Sorry, what did you just say? You need to get Silk Touch Pickaxe. That's honestly something. No, Silk Touch Axe, not a pickaxe. I do need to do that. And the end city. Okay, so we'll, we'll write down the end city. I'm just going to put that down as a small build. I know it's not a build, but... Um, it's not like a big thing. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to put down, like, two do. And, uh... We'll just put, like, things that we want to do. It's not really builds, just, you know... typing. I don't have my keyboard anymore like I used to. Uh, NZ. Uh, space. I love the touchpad. It's so cool. So useful. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put NZ because it's the only thing really. Um... put silk axe silk axe and what else did you just say you said something else storage room um i think i might automate it to a point i just don't know how i'm gonna do it yet so that it's not gonna be very soon we're not in desperate need right now, but I know that it's going to get to a point where my storage room is not big enough, obviously. So, yeah. So, perhaps the next stream we do, we will probably, we'll start, we'll make a silk axe or something, and we'll go to an end city. Actually, we'll probably do end city first. We'll go to the end city first next stream. Then I do Minecraft. So, not tomorrow night, because I'm not streaming tomorrow night. But the next night, probably. We'll probably do that. Sound good? Depends on how I'm feeling, dude. Work is brutal. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's that time again. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't followed or you're watching the VOD, you like the content, please follow. I appreciate it. Any help is needed. My goal is to get to affiliate at some point. But yeah, thank you very much for watching.
I won't be streaming tomorrow night, but Friday night we're back to Minecraft again. No problem. I wouldn't do it if I didn't like doing it. It's chill. We have to play again soon sometime, too. We'll do that. Okay? Bye-bye!